I've really done it this time, guys. I've made something that I know you are all going to love. So first, I've got this crack in the wall. And when you walk up to it, you'll just smoothly squeeze through said crack. I know, I know. Keep applauding, keep applauding. Jokes aside, I have made a little script for a dynamic cut, uh, first person cutscene. So what I mean by dynamic is it will literally start from anywhere. So say I'm around the corner like this, it will smoothly go around the corner and go through. And it's just super smooth and it's really easy to do. Like, guys, you're not ready for this. So before we get into this video, make sure you like it. I'm, I'm joking. I don't do that. You haven't even seen the video yet. All right. Without further ado, let's get into this simple tutorial. All right. So step one, get an empty base plate. Don't do it in a game that already has stuff in it. Otherwise, I'll find you. I'm joking, but I'm going to use an empty base plate just so it's easier for you guys to get started. So first things first, I'm going to add a part. I'm going to make it about this big. I'm going to add another part. This is going to be our little corridor we're going to crawl through. And then I'm going to go to avatar. I'm going to go to character R6 block avatar. And then I'm going to keep one of them for size reference. You guys should always use a character when you're building stuff just to know how big you're building things so you don't build a doorway that's like massive. And this one will be for the animation. And as I'm going to go into the uh, rig, I'm going to change the primary part from head to uh, humanoid root part. And then I'm going to name it uh, Anim Dude, like Scott Cawthon's character. That's what the name of his uh, blocky guy is. But yeah, we have Anim Dude. I'm going to put him right here. I'm going to anchor his humanoid root part. And we're set. So really, oh yeah, don't, we're not set. Don't forget to anchor these parts. So now we have a character looking at the crack. So all we have to do now is just animate it. And I'm going to show you guys a trick to make your animations look smoother, but you actually don't really have to animate this super smooth. So just get your animation tool, click your character. And what we're going to do is kind of like maybe i'm gonna make the animation three seconds so i have more time to work with space it out a bit because he's crawling through this like crack so i'm gonna like do this move him down a little bit give him like that Ooh, he's like walking around in there look and just like i said doesn't have to be smooth i'm gonna teach you guys a trick to make it look smooth without having to actually animate it super smoothly but yeah just kind of wedge the character through the crack it doesn't really matter how the arms or anything look because you're not going to be able to see them in the animation. And now that we have the character's torso physically moving through this crack, animate the head. You don't have to do a lot, but just add like slight movements like rotation and just looking around and I promise you, this is going to add a lot to your overall animation. But there, now we have our animation. I'm going to take this first length and make it the end length. So now the animation ends when the dude gets to the end. So you can see him walking. There we go. So we're just going to go here. Publish animation does not matter what kind of animation it is. I'm just going to name it Anim Dude Crawl. Why not? And then just save this animation ID for later. So now go into replicated storage. Uh, actually, we'll do it in Starge UI. Go into Starge UI, add a script, name the script animation. Uh, actually, cutscene. And then inside of that cutscene, I'm just gonna add that animation. I'm gonna name it Anim One. I'm gonna put that animation ID in there. And then I'm just going to add a bool inside of the script and name it in a cutscene. And we'll come back to the script. We need to add two things to this little build right here. So I'm going to duplicate one of these blocks by doing control D and I'm just going to size it to be in front or exactly where the anim dude is. So like here and I'm going to make it Make sure it's anchored, of course. I can't really tell with the... Uh, I genuinely can't really tell with the new Roblox UI if it's anchored or not. There it is, anchored. And then I'm going to turn off Can Collide. We're going to set transparency to 1. 
we're gonna go into anim dude we're gonna grab all of his body parts set transparency to one set can collide to false and don't forget about his face anim dude's gonna have a face you could delete it if you want i don't think i want to take his face away from him that's all he has left so i'm just gonna make the transparency one then i'm gonna take this part i'm gonna name it uh start part i'm gonna duplicate this part put it at the end i'm gonna shrink it a little bit and i'm gonna name it end part and now we are ready to program so it's really simple i can do it in about 40 lines of code or less so i'll try my best to explain this for you guys make it easy to learn so first i'm just going to add a good old task dot wait three so when it comes to things loading in roblox you can add a wait for child to literally everything or you can just add a wait for child i mean test i'll wait and everything will load if it still has problems like it loads and it's like hey this object is not found then you can add a good old wait for child but just for the sake of this tutorial keeping things simple i'm just going to add that test i'll wait so first let's add a few variables local player plr equals game dot players dot local player local anim dude equals game dot workspace dot anim dude we're going to do local anim dude humanoid which is what a hum stands for equals anim dude dot humanoid local anim equals a hum dot animator load animation and we're going to do script dot uh, anim one then we're going to do local cam equals game dot workspace dot current camera which is going to get the camera that the player is using we'll do local uh cutscene bool equals script dot in cutscene then we'll do local part which is the one you're going to touch to start the cutscene equals game dot workspace dot start part then we'll do local touched as a pool so we'll do false and local ts for tween service equals game get service tween service i know that was a mouthful but this is what you need so first we're gonna invoke something called the run service i'll explain what this does basically we want to run some code every single frame of the game but we don't want to use a while true loop or a for something at loop Basically, there's just a thing that lets you run a script every single frame of the game. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do game, get service, run service, dot render stepped, connect function. If cutscene bool dot value double equals true, then cam dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable. Else cam dot cut, uh, camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom so right there if we switch this bool that's inside the script to be true or false it will switch if we can edit the camera or not which we're going to need to make our cutscene work because we're not actually going to move the player we're going to put the player's camera on that rig i showed you guys mr anim dude anyway we'll come back to this now we just need to detect when the player touches the part and play that animation so part dot touched connect function and we'll add a parameter named hit then we'll do if hit dot parent find first child humanoid or hit dot parent is a humanoid then player dot oh wait if <laughs> touched equals false then can't forget that player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals zero and we'll do touched equals true part destroy cutscene bool dot value equals true anim play uh anim dot whoa i know i'm going really fast i'll give you guys a moment to uh look at this at the end then we'll do uh anim dot stopped wait so this is how you can actually play an animation and then wait until that animation is completed before it runs more code this is really handy use it in a lot of your scripts then right here we'll do cutscene bool dot value equals false and right here i'll do player dot character dot humanoid root part dot c frame equals game dot workspace dot end part dot c frame then i'm just going to copy this code right here that which changes the walk speed set it to 16 then i'll wait one second and i'll do game dot workspace dot end part destroy 
and I'll destroy the script. So you won't need it after this one cutscene. And this is everything that you guys need minus one thing. Whoa, lordy. Okay, I forgot to, uh, I, apparently I didn't anchor these. These are not anchored. Anchored. Okay, that's anchored. That's anchored. Where is Mr. Anim dude? Did I anchor his root part? Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. So. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is not all we need. Whoops, my bad. We're gonna go right here. And we're gonna do cam.cframe equals animdude.head. Oh, uh, character. To, whoa. Animdude.head anim dude dot character excuse me okay i guess that i forgot that i guess that is his character whoops my bad guys i am tweaking anyway head dot c frame also you did not just hear that voice crack and now if we go and we press this wow there's our animation but it looks terrible compared to yours rk well i got you so i have this little trick Instead of setting the C frame like this for the character's head, just use tween service. So we'll do TS create cam info.new 0.3. We'll do C frame equals anim dude dot head dot C frame. Then we'll just play that animation and watch. It's literally going to be a night and day difference, and you didn't even have to make a good animation. So give it three seconds then look at that absolutely ridiculous and you guys can do that for literally any cutscene and it deletes itself so it's not running that get service script anymore and there you guys go i feel like that's pretty damn cool so if you enjoyed today's video please drop a like maybe subscribe maybe send me one million dollars but at per usual all the files be in the district all the files will be in the description of the video you guys can have this for free use it in everything you can make your own cutscenes you don't have to make a crack in a wall but just use all of my tricks i made this for you anyway good luck on your journeys don't forget to brush your teeth and i'll catch you guys on the flip side take it easy Bye bye